Hello friends and welcome. I'm here to share a special card with you today. I belong to a women's group called WOW, Wild Old Women. We aren't so wild anymore, but we are old. I made this fun accordion card for my friend Marilyn's 80th birthday. I like to use my dies in as many different ways as possible, and today's card uses the Karen Berniston birthday candle add-on in what I think is an unexpected way. Let's open it up and see what we've got. Happy birthday on the front with that cute little cupcake. And then let's open it up to expose 80 candles. Can you believe it? I'm going to show you how I made this fun accordion card, so let's get started. To begin this project, I decided that I wanted four panels on my card, so I cut out four panels from the birthday candle add-ons. And the first thing I did was fold it directly in half. There is a crease mark made by the die right in the very center, so I folded it in half, right side to right side. Then I opened it back up and I push the center, reversing that center fold right in the opposite direction and taking these two panels and pushing them back and then gently pushing it together just like that. So I ended up with four panels that looked just like this. You can see I've already folded the other three. The next thing I did was lay them back out. I just wanted to know where all of the creases were and I laid them back out flat. And the reason why I wanted to do that is because I wanted to work on a flat surface. I've already cut out my candles and I have one panel with the candles added so you can see. I cut out 80 candles. I've made this first panel so that I could show you. And what I did was I decided that I wanted 20 candles on each panel and the back there are 12, placed for 12 candles which I have placed on there. And then I needed eight more, so I put a little bit of tape, double-sided foam tape, on the back of the ones I was going to put in the front, and then I pulled this release paper off and placed them on top so that they looked like they had some dimension. So you can see how that looks. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of those off camera because it is really tedious and boring to watch me glue things on. I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, I'm back. I have my 80 candles glued onto my four panels. The other thing I did while I was off camera was make some little paper strips. These are about a quarter of an inch wide and different lengths. The length doesn't really make any difference because I'm going to use them to connect the panels together. Since this is an add-on, it doesn't have the tabs to connect it to make an accordion, so I'm going to use the tabs for that. And I'm going to put them together, one here, and one here, and then I'm going to glue the next panel onto the tab right here. And to do that, I'm going to bring in my Make Art magnetic board. Now, if you don't have one of these, don't worry. It's the only reason I'm using this is so that I can level up my panels. And it's nice that it has the magnets to hold it in place. So while I'm doing that, I don't have to worry about it misaligning. Now, if you don't have one of these, not to worry. You can just use a ruler and line it up along a ruler. Now, I'm going to line them up, each one like this. I'm going to put my magnet down. I'm going to make sure that they're level. Where these little things, I want them all level so that it stands up straight when it's finished. I'm going to put the panels as close together as I can get them. Like that. Whoops. Let's get it straight. Just like that. Now I'm going to glue these little strips right across the, the here where it's flat. One at the top and one at the bottom. I'm going to put all four panels together and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back with my panels all glued together. The other thing that I did was I made sure that it'll fold up. So because I put dimension on the candles, I had to make sure that they were all going to close up 
the way they're supposed to, and they do. Now the other thing that I did is connected the candle panels together in the back. And I've left this one open so you can see how I did it. So I simply turned the whole card over. I lined these up right here in the back, just like that. Then I took another one of my strips and connected them together. Now you can see that it goes together just like this. And I did put two strips on each panel so they would hold. Now I have all of my panels joined together with the outside frame portion being glued here, here, and here making them mountains and back here the valley with the candle portions being glued here, here, and here. I also took the time and added a few little extra decorations. I thought it required some stars and some swirly do's and I also placed one more candle just for good measure. The other thing that I decided to do was to make a panel for the or for each end that would cover it while it was closed. This is the back panel which will have my handwritten message to the birthday girl on it. And for the other end I created a panel that says happy birthday and it has a little cupcake on it. To make these panels I measured my card which required a three and a quarter inch square panel. So to create that, I cut a panel that was three and three quarters by three and a quarter, and then I scored it at a half an inch and created this little tab by cutting up three eighths of an inch from each end and then folding it over. Now if you're using directional paper, remember that you need to put the, pan the, the tabs so that they face each other. As I used uh, one-sided paper, I needed to make sure that my tabs were on the right side. Now, if you didn't get all these measurements, not to worry, I've posted them on my blog, which is linked below. So now, in order to add this final panel to my card, and then I can call it done, I set it up, and I wanted it to set level. I put this panel right here, and I measured a little, I put a little mark right there where that point is a little pencil mark that I'm going to erase later. So now I'm going to glue that panel on and my card's going to be done. So I'm going to add some glue to the tab. Oops, sorry, a little off camera there. Okay, so now I'm going to line these up. I think I'm going to close this this way. I'm going to line up my mark with my point just like this. You can see that that little tab is, or that little mark is right in the middle where that point of the frame is. And then I'm going to line the crease up with the flat side right there and right there. And I'm going to press it down. Now I'm going to give that glue a second to, to set up. I'm going to erase my pencil mark and I think we're good to go. Okay, here we go. Happy birthday, 80 candles, and a personal message on the end. I'm quite happy with the way this card turned out, but now I have a new dilemma. What about an envelope? Well, this card, as we know, is three and a quarter inches square, but it is very thick. It requires an inch and a quarter all the way around to fit into an envelope. So what I decided to try was a topper tag and I made it into an envelope. I took two tags, put them together with an inch and a quarter space in between. So I cut a long strip of paper that was two and a quarter inches scoring it at a half inch on each side creating tabs. I glued them to the first one. As you can see I've already put my front panel on. I decorated that and added that. So now I'm going to close this up, set it like this, and I'm going to glue it on the sides creating a little box. Now I love a happy accident 
and I had one in this. This actually was exactly three and a quarter inches wide. Perfect size for my card. Now I've completed gluing the sides of my box envelope together. All that's left to do is insert the card, run a ribbon through the holes in the top of the tag, and tie a pretty bow. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.